New tonight, this weekend marks the 50th anniversary since the death of local war hero Freddy Gonzalez. CBS 4's Jelani Martinez spoke with those who knew Gonzalez as hundreds gathered today to honor his legacy. And I respect him because once he made the decision, it wasn't no change in his mind and there was no argument. He knew what to do, when to do it, and he got it done. We first met him in July of uh, 1967 and I was a, a first platoon sergeant. He was he was in the third platoon, and I was so impressed with uh, Freddie and his leadership qualities. Jack Rushing and Paul Garcia served with Freddie Gonzalez in the Battle of Hue during the Vietnam War. In order to get to the city, they encountered a lot of uh, enemy fire from the North Vietnamese, but they were able to overcome that, and Freddie was an integral part of that because uh, he uh, saved. Uh, a lot of his men by taking uh, action as a leader to take out enemy positions on the way into the city and uh, being wounded and uh, so he, he maintained his uh, leadership and didn't want to leave, uh, didn't want to be medevac and made it on into the city and uh, unfortunately was killed there but he, he was always uh, take care of his men. Even though Gonzalez has passed, his mother still finds ways to keep his memory alive. I still miss him. I miss cooking for him, all that stuff. I wish he was here. So just keep on going. That's all I can say. 50 years ago, Freddy Gonzalez lost his life while serving our country in Vietnam. But today, people at this school named after him are now honoring him. I think it was very special to all the people who were fighting for Freddy Gonzalez and it was very emotional for like the people who came to remember him. Yes, we drew pictures to honor him and we wrote how much like we we believe that he's still here, even if he's not really here. And even though these students never met Freddy Gonzalez, they do have a few words for him. I would say thank you for protecting our country and Texas and say that he's a wonderful man. In Edinburgh, with complete Valley coverage, Jelani Martinez, CBS4 Valley at 6.